Hello and welcome to the Pickles and Posies Art and Design YouTube channel. Hey everyone. I repurposed an old framed cork board I found in my closet and I made this nice lap desk. Now I can work from my favorite place at home, my bed. I'm going to show you how I did it. I got these nine inch legs from Lowe's. I needed to take out the little screws that are usually used for attaching these to other furniture because my frame is thin and I really can't attach them that way. I used an old medicine dropper to drop a couple of drops of acetone on each screw. This dissolved the glue that was holding it inside the leg and I was easily able to unscrew it. Then I cleaned my surfaces with alcohol and used E6000 to attach my legs to the frame. Check out the description for links to all the supplies I used. So my lighting was really bad in the footage of me painting this, but I let the glue dry for 48 hours. I painted the top like a pearlescent white and the sides this antique gold color I thought that I liked and that bubble went away. So I didn't like that gold. I took another shinier gold and went over the top of that and originally I was happy with that. It's got a really antique brass finish which I thought would look good in my room but in the end I did end up changing it. So for my top, I mixed some Alumalite clear cast epoxy and I separated it into four cups. I also made a mistake here because I didn't leave myself any clear epoxy. All the glitters and mica powders I used here are from Michaels. I'm going to link everything below in my description, even the paints I used earlier and the ones I'll use later too. These little powders I got from Michaels, they came in a kit. I don't know if they're actual mica powders. They tend to make my epoxy very thick and goopy, no matter how much I used. I did use quite a bit here, and that did play a part in the sort of disaster that happened later. And this is where things kind of fell apart. I was supposed to save some clear epoxy to put down as the base layer for the technique that I wanted to do. It had taken me so long to set up the camera shot. I was very frustrated and I just started pouring everything and just kind of figured, oh, let's just see what happens. You can see how I get it into the corners and along the edges. I kind of use the popsicle stick to guide it over there and it just kind of falls in place. I wait until it meets the edge. And then I go back in with my little glass stick and I get all the way in the corners. These glass sticks are nice. I use them to stir little things and I can just wipe them off. I use a kitchen torch as my heat tool here. 
I'll link to these glass sticks below, but you can already see when I'm trying to move my epoxy that it's, it's getting a little bit uh, sticky. Now I'm in crisis mode. I'm just trying to get it all on there before it sets up. I do my best to swirl it around. I was so happy when it was done and I could bring it in and finally work from bed. But I just, the colors weren't right. It looked like a five-year-old painted it with glitter glue. And the shade of gold just was not right. So... I started over and I did what I wanted to do the first time. So you first start with a clear layer of epoxy and spread it. Then I used my kitchen torch to remove any air bubbles. And I went back in with some different glitters and kind of did stripes. I used a different glitter here and this is like an opalescent glitter from Mr. Nola's Glitter. And it has two of the shades that are in my bedroom that I'm trying to coordinate with which is like a kind of a coppery coral and a turquoise. So I gave another quick pass with the torch just to release any air bubbles. And I wanted to see if I could move it around a little bit by tilting it. This was also a challenging day to work with epoxy. It was so hot outside. The heat index was 104. I was literally dripping sweat. I had my respirator on. It was hot. Um, but it did decrease the working time with my epoxy, so I had to move quickly. I'm using a popsicle stick again to kind of spread things around and I really just needed everything to get into the corners and touch the edges so there would be no gaps. But I also didn't want to shift things around too, too much. So I was pretty gentle. One more quick pass of the torch and then we put down our epoxy with the mica powders in it. So this is like a pearlescent white. I didn't mix any gold this time because there was so much gold last time which I thought was overwhelming. I wanted to break some of that up and now there will be a little bit of depth when you look at the top because all of that gold will be on the bottom and you can kind of see through to it. It's a very unique effect. So my heat gun went kaput. I did have to take my respirator off. I'm using a straw here to kind of blow into the epoxy and kind of shift around the 
mica powder part. Normally this would be much easier, but my epoxy is setting up. And so it's kind of difficult to work with. It's very gooey. But it's still at that point where it will uh, level back out again and give me a smooth finish. I also changed the shade of gold on the legs and the frame. It was just so dark before and I wanted something a little more shiny and brighter. I really am happy with the way it turned out. The colors are perfect. Everything matches my room perfectly. I love the shades of gold. And it complements Wonder Woman nicely. But wait, here's the best part. Epoxy is dry erase, y'all.